I think you're going to have the most success at a flea market if you either go at the crack of dawn, which is when the dealers are going, and so you're going to kind of get the dealers' prices, or right at the end of the day when the dealers are at the end of their tether and, uh, you know, if, it, if it's a pop-up market somewhere, they don't want to haul the stuff home, uh, that's the moment to kind of pounce. Also, you have to you have to judge the moment. I mean, at Marlene's warehouse sale, you needed to get there early to get the plums. But if it's a dealer with a slower turnover, you have to calibrate your position, of course. If you're really interested in putting together a, a vintage collection, it's a good idea to go to the auctions because they tend to have pre-selected things of great quality that museums and the most sophisticated collectors and dealers are looking at, and it's good for getting your eye in, you know. If you're looking to collect exciting vintage pieces to wear, I would really steer clear of anything important, significant, iconic, museum-worthy, because a sweaty night on a dance floor, a glass of red wine can destroy a dress that might be better placed in uh, a climate-controlled <laughs> unit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So I would be looking for things that appeal to you, fit the mood of the moment, maybe even preempt what a designer and their team are going to be looking at next season. You know, you could be the girl that's out there inspiring, you know, Jack and Laz or Mark or Mucha.